Hey, it's Pastor Ricky Temple. Glad you're with me today for just a couple of minutes. I want to ask you a question as we talk about this week, a thought I have that might help you all week. You ever made a bad investment? You ever did something that didn't go well? You thought, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. Well, it's okay, because I believe that's fuel. So I believe you use bad investments as fuel for future good investments. You heard that, right? right? You use bad investments as fuel, instructions, gas for future good investments. But you got to understand that that's what happens to most of us. We all have something we did that wasn't great. You know, you either bought a stock that it went down. I've done that before. And I'm waiting for a few to go up right now, by the way. <laughs> but it's fuel. It gives me insight. It teases me about the market. I made investments in friendships that didn't work out right. I thought it was a good investment, but found out it didn't work out. But here's what the Bible says. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Now, you got to take this verse and you got to believe it, people, because it's an amazing verse. Romans 8, 28. Here's what it says. We know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose, for whom he foreknew. Now, this is important for those he foreknew. He also predestined to be conformed to the, to the image of his son. Now, I want, I want you to put this together for me for a minute. I want you to hear this. There's two verses. We always quote Romans 8, 28. All things work together for the good. That's true. But he says, but please understand God foreknew things. He already knew in advance what was going to happen in your life. He's not shocked or surprised by anything that came into your life. And his goal is to get you to be made like the image of his son. He's going to get you there. So don't panic. Look at this moment of a bad investment and you're crying. I sold all those days in that relationship and it's gone bad. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but that's fuel. I can't believe I gave these people all these years on this job. Yeah, but that's fuel. It turned out for you in a bad way, but it, it's okay. It's fuel. It's gas. It's going to be there for the next good investment you make. People sometimes ask you, they say, how did you get wise about money? Or how did you get wise about leadership? Or how did you, you know, get wise about marriage or children? Uh, messing up. Messing up. Being confused, not knowing all the right turns to make. It's all part of it. How do you, how do you academically make it? Uh, you got to struggle with a few classes. <laughs> <laughs> learn how to study, learn how to get it done early. You learn through those trials and error moments. You want to believe that everybody's Superman, they fly over all issues. They never have any problems. That's not true. All of us, all of us understand the journey of failure. There's a great book I like. It's by John Maxwell. It's called Failing Forward. I love that book. It's one of the books I recommend to you. It helps you think about the importance of not being perfect and how through imperfection, a lot of great things happen in people's lives. Stories about people who tried and fell and got back up and tried and fell and got back up, kind of like you, right? Made a few bad investments, you feel bad, you lost some money, you messed up some business deal, something didn't go right. Look at the number of people in business who fail and look at the number of people who keep trying and make it. Success is never easy. Success always has a hard mountain to climb, and you are in the middle of the climb. And so you are crying and wailing, oh, God, why me? Because you, you dared to dream. You dared to try. Give yourself a break. You could have just sat on the couch and just said, well, I'll just admire all the rich people on television. I'll watch all the millionaire basketball players run up and down the court and yell at them, and all the football players with all the money, and I'm sitting here in a cabin. Listen, you need to celebrate yourself. It's going to work out. You're going to be fine. Remember this now. Bad investments. A few for future good investments. You need to learn to embrace that thought and stop crying over what didn't go right. Well, my marriage fell apart. Well, you're still here, right? You can love again. Why are you going to give up on love because of that? My children are crazy. Are they grown? Are they grown and gone? Well, tell them, say, listen, have a meeting. I raised you crazy. I didn't do a good job. You people have some problems and you need to go to therapy, okay? It's my suggestion to you. I love you. If you want some advice, come ask me. I'll give you the best I can and live your life. Go forward. Listen, that's fuel to raise some sensible grandchildren. <laughs> now you know what to do and not to do. I got to go. Let me pray for you. Father, bless them to be confident 
in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Pastor Ricky Temple. Love you. See you next time. Stay calm. Stay focused. Bye-bye.